Okay, so here is the baffle after it's been in the caustic soda. You see, I've got it on a little bit of wire there to hang it over the edge of the uh, bin it was in. But it seems to have turned it a bit white, but it's got rid of most of the uh, crap off it. And I think with the wire brush, that'll probably come out quite nicely. There's inside it. What if I get the endoscope in there <laughs> for a decent look around? Here is the downpipe. As you can see, it's still crusted with crap, and that stuff will not come off. I just can't get it off. I've been chipping away at it with everything, but it's still nice and mucky. So the caustic soda doesn't seem to have done as well with that. It was pretty hard baked on there. And here is the bin with the rest of the silencer in it. I've been turning it over every day. It's been in there for two weeks on and off. Uh, so inside it's actually looking pretty good, but it was more oily sludge than anything. And it seems to have got rid of it. So a bit of cleaning with a rag on a stick or something, and that'll be fine. So I read on the Moped Army wiki of another way of doing it. You can either put your silencer or your downpipe in an oven on a cleaning cycle, which uh, Mrs. Phil is not keen on at all. I tried doing that to cure some paint once. Or you can use a blowtorch and an air gun, and actually the combined heat from that blowing down the pipe will eventually get rid of all the crap out of it and turn it to white sort of ash, basically. So I've been doing this about 10 minutes already, but unfortunately my camera only recorded 4 seconds of it for some bizarre reason. It's the second time it's done that to me, but it is a cheap Chinese version of a GoPro, so I suppose it's to be expected. So I'm blowing the, uh, as you can see I've got the flame in there, I'm blowing the blowgun down there. And uh, there was some quite impressive smoke coming out of there uh, at the far end, and it's... Um, it was really thick white smoke. It's actually apparently poisonous, so uh, I probably didn't do my lungs any good with it. But uh, there was plenty of it, and it seemed like it was doing its thing. So what apparently happens when you do this is, well, basically, you put the blowtorch on the end. Here we have the uh, manifold end. Uh, heat up the carbon deposit inside for a couple of minutes until it glows, and you can see it's burning away like sort of embers on a fire. And then you keep applying heat and add a bit of air and it, it sort of, that section burns slowly all the way down the pipe so you have a hot spot. Now I'm not entirely sure that's what's happened here. I think perhaps it's something to do with blowing the flame sort of part way or full length of the pipe and, and it's sort of all dissolved fairly evenly. But there was a point after a few minutes where the thick bit at the entrance of the pipe turned white and then just blew away basically um, so it did seem fairly effective which I was quite pleased at there isn't a great deal of smoke coming out the end of there unfortunately not anywhere near as much as there was you literally at one point for a few minutes you couldn't actually see the pipe in this view it was literally just all smoke white smoke white screen basically but there are a few wisps of it coming out to give you a vague idea this is actually very near the end of the process It does tend to get a bit hot, um, so yeah, I mean, I'll just test it with my, uh, if I can get it, <laughs> with my thermometer. That bit there is uh, actually going green with the heat, um, so it, when I tested it before, at points it was getting 400 plus degrees C, which is quite mega really. Um, it probably doesn't do your chrome work very much good. but. Uh, Here's my temperature gun, and we'll see where we're at now. 265, 390 at one point there. I'm using it sideways because the little laser dot is actually above where you're aiming it at, weirdly. So if you aim it sideways on, you're more likely to get it in line. You see, further back here, look, it's not as hot. Um, so hopefully it will... Oh, there we are, 200 nod. Hopefully it will burn full length. Otherwise, it's just a case of start again from the other end. And um, I suppose it will just take longer to go away in the middle if you do it like that. In fact, it may actually work out quicker if you do do both ends one at a time. But apparently if you let the ember go out as it's burning its way down the pipe, you actually have to start again from the other end anyway. And if that end goes out, you're pretty stuffed. But if it is a case that the flame's burning full length, then I don't suppose that particularly matters. Right, let's see if I can pick this up. It's not that hot. On the very end, let's tap the ash out, see what we got. I need something to tap it out with, I think. 
handy paintbrush. All right. See if we can get anything out of here. Yeah, you can see little bits of ash coming out the end there. It's very difficult to do with one hand. <laughs> there we are, plenty of ash. Trying not to burn myself on anything. Yeah, there's lots of ash coming out there. Actually, yeah, give it a bash and maybe air blow it in a sec as well. Let's see what, how much more we can tap out. Yeah, so there doesn't actually look like a huge amount of ash in there, considering how much carbon there was. But um, it will obviously reduce in volume as it burns down. And there is a, a little modest pile coming out of there. Right, let's get the air gun on it. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, so there was some in there still. So, um, yeah, I'll leave this to cool down a few minutes. And uh, let's get the endoscope inside and see how much crap and ash is still left in there. Okay, so I figured the best way to do this was probably to get the endoscope all the way in and then pull it out. So that is the endoscope looking out of the tail end of the uh, downpipe. So that end is the end that would be in the silencer. And as we pull away from it, you can see it's actually pretty good for um, carbon deposits. Seems to have got rid of most or all of it. And you can see the little hole. Well, you've seen the little holes as we go past. They're the little side holes that you see in the pipe that act as sort of a little bit of a baffle as well as the uh, end piece. And yeah, I mean, that's looking pretty good. As we get up near the top, there is the curve obviously and this particular pipe has that big kink in it that I've showed you so I don't even know if this pipe's gonna be any good even now because that will restrict the flow quite majorly but that is really good isn't it I'm, I'm impressed with that definitely certainly the caustic soda's done alright on the uh, sludgier bits but the really hard baked on stuff it seems to do really well to go uh, with this route with heat and as you can see as well this is just the flange where it attaches to the head it's gone blue with the heat